welcome everyone. We're here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Derriman Trading Company Limited. So my name is Terry Carroll and it is an extreme pleasure and honor to serve as your MC this evening for a number of reasons. Every year I go to Rebel Salute, every year. I am in the front, I chant down Babylon, I have my flag, my Rasta colors, everything, and I stand on my feet and I chant until nine o'clock in the morning. This year I didn't go when I walked in and I looked at the decor and I looked at what this room looked like, I said this was totally worth it, totally. Now the reason why I'm extremely pleased to be your host is because it's always easier when you're actually a consumer, a customer of the company that you are hired to work for. So I shop at select grocers. In fact, that is where I met Mr. Cottrell. He said, you know, if there's anything wrong, let me know if you're not, and I, and I signed up for my rewards card and everything. And then I believe a, a, a girl's home burnt down, if not last year, year before last, and I ended up going to Sampar's to get non-perishables to, to donate for items. And I went on social media and said, oh my gosh, the price is at Sampar's. And I went on only to realize later on that it was a part of the group. So I stand here not just as your MC tonight, but I stand here as a loyal customer. And I thank you so very much for the service that you continue to give us. So we're going to get the party started, and before we do, I certainly have to, to, to commend the DJ, DJ Venom, because let me tell you something. Sometimes you come to these gala events and it takes a while to build up, but he had nice music playing from the beginning. Dance music was playing, and as you notice that lovely structure there, it means that really and truly we're gonna get over this and we're gonna get straight to the party. Is that okay? All right, so before we get this started, I'd like to invite Michael Rodney to bless the place as well as the dinner that we shall have later on. Please put your hands together and make him welcome, Mr. Michael Rodney. Father, we give you thanks tonight for life. We give you thanks for health and strength. We give you thanks for your many favors that you have granted unto us. Though undeserving we are many a times, but we are thanking you that you are who you are <coughs> and our ways does not dictate your action towards us many a times. As we gather here, God, we thank you for journeying mercies, for those who are here and for those who are on their way. We thank you that you will provide them safe journey here. And in the event when everything is over, Lord, we're still looking to you. Though we are not really asking of you, we are just giving you thanks because we know that you look out for the best for us. And we know that you will bring us back safely home wherever our destinations are. As we gather to hear, here tonight in this wonderful event, 20 years, oh God, and counting, we are giving you thanks uh, for the many blessings that you have brought us to and through, the hurdles that we have come across and over. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, oh God Almighty, for everything. Bless us continually as we acknowledge you. We ask you to bless the food, oh God, Bless it, though, God, that everyone, when it's all said and done, we know everybody have their different taste and different liking. But, oh, God, let everyone be pleased, oh, God. Let no one develop any sickness, oh, God. Just endorse everything, Lord, just tonight. Because we know that some person might have allergies and etc. So, God, we just pray that you may just have your divine way among us tonight. We are so grateful that we can call upon you in every instance and every, in every situation. So thank you again, O Heavenly Father. Thank you for our chairman and the board and all directors of the company. Continue to bless them, O Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you thanks. Continue to bless Derriman. Amen. Amen. Amen.
May God's people say, Mr. Rod, they say, may the people them don't get sick after them, yam. No allergies. Thank you so very much, Mr. Rodney. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to celebrate a fantastic milestone. The fact of the matter is that most companies, especially when they start out, do not pass three to five years. That is a fact. Therefore, to achieve the milestone of 20 years is something that we should not treat very lightly. And the man at the helm, the chairman, the CEO of Dermont Trading Company Limited, Mr. Derek Cottrell would like to bring the welcome, please. 20 years is a long time, an absolutely long time. And I can't believe because sometimes I feel like I'm 20 years old. <laughs> but if the company is 20 years old and I started a company, it would make me at least 21 <laughs> or 22. I would like to take the opportunity to welcome our friends and partners who have traveled from overseas to be here with us. We have from CIC, Kathleen, and her partner, Aubrey. We have Marlon and Marif from, also from Suriname. They are our partners. They do the Golden Brand. Um, I'm sure you all consume Golden Brand. We have my brother Rakesh and his son, his brother, his niece, his nephew, rather. And he's, he wrote his name here, but um, I'm sure it's supposed to be Chanel, but it's not saying that, no. Um, spell check on this thing is always giving trouble. But welcome, Rakesh. I want to also acknowledge our partners locally from Nestle and from SM Jalil. I'd like to give apologies for absence of um, somebody who really got this company going from Resource International, Mr. Carlton Michael. Name don't mean anything to you, but I have to give um, respect and acknowledge him. Board of Directors, Derriman family, welcome to our 20th anniversary. Like I said before, 20 years is a long time, but it seemed like a very short time. It's, when I reflect on how we got started and pretty much I didn't have any vision of this, to be frank with you, it's not like this was really planned out. We, through your efforts mainly and encouragement and God's guidance, we managed to take care of some opportunities or take advantage of some opportunities. And we have actually managed to grow the company to this size. The company now employs, where it started out, had one employee. And now we have over 560 employees. <laughs> and we have, um, in terms of the merch direct contractors that work with the company, um, another 50. And if you were to look at the trucker's pool, we are looking at over 100 people there. So we pretty much reach a significant part of the economics of Jamaica. The journey has been an interesting one, but I must say it has been a good one. The company started out, like I said, in 1998 with the belief in me as an individual and the company by a gentleman by the name of Carlton Michael I mentioned before. And he gave us a, a line of credit to do business here in Jamaica. He's from North America, but he's a Jamaican. And um, for those of you who are KC people, he actually went to Kingston College. In 2002, well, in, we, we, in 2000, the company stopped trading for a short time, and we re resumed trading in 2002, and my wife was the one who start, restarted Dermon Trading. Um, she started with a stationary operation, and 
to this day, some companies know Duramon for stationery. Um, 2002 was a remarkable year because that's the year that we also signed a contract with Nestle and that began our sojourn into distribution in a strong way. The next big milestone would have been 2006 when we started to do rice, but we didn't really get into rice big time until um, my brother Rakesh. Rakesh, where are you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, from the day we met, we, we had a tight bond. Winston and I went to Suriname in, remind me the year, Rakesh, was 2008? Yeah, 2008. And we met Rakesh. He was much slimmer then. <laughs> and if you can believe it, a little more handsome. Well, a lot more. Much younger. Only had two children then, but he has managed to, do, to have four now. And, um, but he's a better man because of his wife. Let me just put that in quickly, right? <laughs> but Rakesh and us formed a bond, and we pretty much worked very hard to take over this market. And to, to date, we're still number one when it comes to the importation of rice. 2006 also marked the year when Winston joined the company, Winston Thomas, that is. And um, he basically came in. Um, to help structure the business and to help us to, to really begin to grow because um, you sh those of us who know me uh, know that I will come up with a lot of the ideas but I'm not always with the details. In 20, 2009 was another significant time. We acquired Sampar's and that business was basically Mr. Richards really wants to sell us that business because after trying for about three years, he, this, he called me one day and said, Derek, just tell me what you want. Just give me what you want for the business and take the business, please. <laughs> That's literally what happened. And um, I think that was also the year that we formally started the board of directors in 2009, or it was have been 2008 to be exact. Um, and we had founding board members Alexander Williams, Winston Thomas, Monique Cottrell, Ian Kelly, and, and um, Earl Richards, along with myself, all of whom are still serving on the board, and we are still very relevant, if I can speak on, on our behalf. <laughs> we have subsequently added new board members. In 2011, we decided to increase the number of samparas we had, and we, we got West Street, we also got Mandeville, and in subsequent years, we got the store in Wallaba, we got the store in, acquired the store in St. Anne's Bay, the latest one being Crossroads, and our latest retail venture is Select Grocers. In 2013, we enter the junior stock exchange. Mr. Kelly joined the executive team in 2011, basically to get us onto the stock exchange. And um, his first task though was to learn to run a, a retail outlet. So he, he went to Boulevard in his banking outfit, jacket and tie and, um, what's the name of the shoes? Yeah. <laughs> Fergamo shoes, you know. Sergio Fergamo. Or Salvador Fergamo, yes. And um, after a day, the Fergamo shoes was parked at home. <laughs> the tie went. <laughs> and he began to really learn what the real world was about. <laughs> but Mr. Kelly is a trooper. So he learned the business. And he did a wonderful job in getting the company ready for the Junior Stock Exchange. In 2013, our shares listed at $2.05. Today, the shares are at 2.65, but it has multiplied by 10. So it's really about $26.50. 
and it actually peaked at some point at $43. 2014 was another significant year, a significant milestone. We acquired the majority shareholdings in Caribbean flavors and fragrances. And in 2017, we made them a subsidiary. And um, Caribbean Flea installed Mrs. Janice Lee as general manager, and she has done a fantastic job with the team there at Caribbean Flavors. <laughs> and in 2018, we acquired that dynamic company that, you, that mostly men work. Um, it's true, Terry. Mostly men work there. A few ladies work there. But it's mostly men. A company called Woodcat International. And we pretty much kept everything intact with the, the management, the staff, everything. And we have big plans for Woodcats. And it's called Woodcat International. And I think as early as this year, the company will begin export. In fact, we have an export order already. So it's, it's living up to its name, Woodcats International. The 20 years has been not without its own share of drama and challenges, but I must say it has been very rewarding. And the company would not have been successful without the efforts of each and every one of you in this room and those few members of the team who are not here. And I, tonight is about celebrating 20 years of Derriman trading, but also celebrating your contribution as team members to the growth and development of Derriman trading. Twenty eighteen also had another significant development in that we acquired the distribution of the ambient products from SM Jalil and that's basically a game changer for the company. We have a, we have had a, we have had a long relationship with SM Jalil. We have been their beverage distributor for the past five years. Um, that's chill beverage through the juiceful um, juice and fruit in chilled. That's in the Ella Park um, presentation. But we deepened that relationship last year with, in September of last year, by acquiring the portfolio of ambient um, products. SM Jalil, if you don't know, is the largest manufacturer of beverages in the Caribbean. So it's a very significant um, relationship. SM Jalil also has products in over 90 countries throughout the world. So if they are not the largest or widest distributor, Caribbean distributor in the world, they're certainly in the top two or three. So we, we have significant learning to gain from that company. But our task is to really capture significant market share in Jamaica and the new beverage team, and we have some of them here, um, are up to the challenge. And 2018 is going to be a very successful year for that latest. Thank you. At least you're listening to me. <laughs> 2019 is going to be a very successful year for that division in particular. We are going to have other events marking our 20th anniversary. The company wouldn't get to where it's at without the customers. Customers are very significant. Yep. So we are going to have a series of events for the customers throughout the year. Stay tuned. Um, Terry, stay tuned. We are going to have um, functions for distribution customers, for Sampar's customers, for Woodcats customers, for CFF customers. 
and we're going to really thank the customers for taking us to where we are. The future outlook. I hope to be around for certainly in the next 20 years, but I guarantee I won't be the CEO. I'm not one of those who's going to be CEO for life. In fact, in 10 years time, for sure I won't be CEO. And I want to open up your thoughts that virtually, virtually anybody in this room, any member of staff can aspire to the top position in the organization. But even if you're not the CEO or the CFO or a member of the board of directors, everybody can be a star. That's the good thing about this team. This team can be a team of, it can be an all-star team. For those of you who play sports, you, ever, you, ever, you know about an all-star team? Right. This, that is what Derriman is. I want everybody can be a star. You can be a star at doing exactly what you're doing now and aspiring to do better things, greater things, make it more efficient. The world is changing. The way we do business now, chances are may not be the way we're doing business in the next 20 years. And we have to remain relevant to our customers. We have to remain relevant to the market. And sometimes we have to lead the market and show them where they should be going. Derriman Trading is going to be at the cutting edge of all of this. And I want you to open your minds. And for those of you who are young enough, and if you're under 100, you're young enough, go back to school. Learn something new. There's no way. In fact, I, I'm challenging myself to go back to school within the next two years or so because I'm eager to learn more stuff. But whether it's in a formal institution um, or informally, we need to open up our minds to learn new stuff because the world is changing. Jamaica is changing rapidly. You see what's happening with the roads. Um, when 5G technology comes to the world, it's going to be a different world. It's, believe me, it's mind-blowing. If you remember, when I, when I met Ian, how long is it now, Ian? About 20, um, 27 years ago, um, a cell phone was something looking like a brick. And only the privileged could have one. I was privileged that I worked at Grayscale and they bought me one. <laughs> that was a privilege I had. No, cell phones are nothing, and they, they, do, they, do, they do things completely different. Cell phones were just for making calls. Today, um, before my daughter began to work in the company, the only time her cell phone ring with a call was when I called her because she did re basically didn't use the phone for, uh, as a telephone. It was a device that she used to do lots of other stuff. Communication is changing. The world is changing. And we are committed to ensure that we are at the cutting edge at all times. We have to be. So my challenge, and I don't want to get into a heavy speech tonight, but I want you all to think about where you want to fit into the company in the next five years, the next 10 years, the next 20 years, because what I'm going to guarantee you, we're going to continue to grow. And I want each and every person here to continue to grow for the company. I'm looking forward to the 50th anniversary. I will still be young. Not as young as I am now, but I'll still be young. And I'm looking forward to the new leadership then. And um, you can push me out if I'm in a wheelchair. Just push me out and push me in a corner. And I'll just want to look on and smile. Okay? So, <laughs> tonight is a night to celebrate the staff, mainly. So, we're going to have a few presentations. Very important. We're going to have a few presentations. But more than anything else, we're going to have a good time. Okay? Well, we have had many partners. And if we were to have an event, we could have an event just for the partners. Because some parts have so many partners. Woodcats have so many partners. Caribbean Flavors have so many partners. I mean, if we were to add them all up, it would be um, certainly over 100. But tonight, we're going to recognize some of our oldest partners. So those who have been with us for over 10 years, we're going to give a special recognition for them. But I want to publicly acknowledge 
and thank each and every person who has survived, um, company or individual who have provided a service or partnered with Dirtman Trading over the past 20 years. I want to thank you for your service. But tonight, we want to recognize a few companies. Like I said, they have been with us for over 10 years. The first one, unfortunately, they're not here, so we're not going to give out that award. But I just want to, for the, let the record show, is Resource International, who got it all going. Um, the principal of that company is Mr. Carlton Michael. Re <laughs> regrettably, he couldn't make it. His wife isn't so well, and he had to stay with his wife which is the right thing to do. Um, next, I'm going to invite, is Craig here? Craig Pinnock? Not here yet, so Mr. Brother Linton, could you deputize, please? Yes. One of our oldest partners is Nestle Jamaica Limited. We started the business in 2002, and that was a one million Jamaican dollar business. We have managed to grow that business um, before they sold the, the Betty and Supplegen portfolio. We took that business up to about $70 million per month. So it has been a wonderful partnership. And we want to thank Nestle Jamaica Limited and for their partnership and their loyalty to us over the years. <laughs> Narvin NV of Suriname. I told you a little bit about my brother, Rakesh. <laughs> and believe me, he's my brother. <laughs> he may not look like me, but he's my brother. <laughs> Rakesh, Rakesh has been there for us. We have had our fights, but we make up quickly. But a nicer person you couldn't find. A more, um, he's, a, he's, he's one of the brightest person I know, I must tell you that. His instincts of business is incredible. And Dermont Trading would not be where it is today without the contribution of Mr. Rakesh Narsing and the entire Narvin NV family. <laughs> While I was going to Suriname on many occasions, Rakesh would bas basically, we, when we went to Suriname, and um, I remember Ian, um, when Winston and I went for the first time, we were, we were kind of <laughs> taken aback as to the the, the quality of the hospitality of the Surinamese. Um, at that time, we only met Rakesh, but it's, it's not peculiar to Rakesh. Um, one of those trips, we stopped at a company called NV Consolidated to, do, to pitch to them that we could do their detergent, represent them in their detergent in Jamaica. At the time, they were doing, we recognized that, we, we learned that they were doing one container in Jamaica at the time. So it didn't per year. <laughs> um, we it didn't take long for, to convince them to have a relationship with us. Today I'm happy to report that we have moved that business from one container, and I'll let Stuart tell you the figure, or Sheldon probably know it better. Sheldon, how much container did it last year? 36. So it's 36 times. <laughs> NV Consolidated is the company that is behind sun detergent, sun powder detergent. And I'd like to invite Kathleen Healy. <laughs> and one of the significance of this is that we actually could prove to ourselves that we could start something from nothing. Because we basically took it from one container a year to what it is now, 36 containers a year, and it's now a household product. Um, these companies have been with us for a long time. There are other companies in Suriname that we did business and we want to acknowledge. VSH Foods, which is in the same family of NV Consolidated and Marlon and Marie for here. They haven't made it to 10 years yet, but in, 10 years, in a few years' time, when they return, they'll get their award. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Richard Bailey, <laughs> Mr. Richard Bailey and Nikita Reynolds are from SM Jalil, and they too 
Um, I haven't quite made it to 10 years yet, but they'll make it well over 10 years, and we'll be so recognized at the time. So with that, I hand you back over to your hosts. Um, it is always good to be here with the family, and it's always good to recognize a visionary in the, name of, in the names of Monique Cottrell and Derek Cottrell, our chairman, <laughs> our boss, our friend, and also the individual who always remind us that all of us are equal. We should share the same kitchen, the same lunchroom, the same bathroom, etc. Derek is a hard taskmaster. But one thing we can say, we can say many things about Derek and Monique. But what is important to us is that they are fair individuals. They believe in the utmost. They always challenge us to go the extra mile and to do well. And I think that is one of the critical success factors why we are here to celebrate 20 years. Boss and boss lady, it is wisdom and the the grounding that you both have that allow us to be here this evening. And we are extremely proud of you both as a family. And we will be here to celebrate many, many more happy ones. Congratulations to you both and the entire Derriman staff. Feel free to sing along with us. Hey, I must have rehearsed my lines a thousand times until I had them memorized. But when I get up.
goalkeeper of the season, Lenico Griffiths, AKA, AKA Punch Them. Top goal scorer. Scored 27 goals for the season. The one and only Michael Isaacs, Woodcats International. But don't move because you also go away with the most valuable player award. Captain of the season award goes to Horace Cook, Sampar's Old Harbor. This is the winner of the dress parade, Sampar's Old Harbor. Team displaying exceptional team spirit goes to Sampar's Old Harbor. Most disciplined team for 2018 goes to Sampar's Old Harbor. Congratulations to Sampar's Old Harbor. Now we have, ladies and gentlemen, we have an appreciation plaque to the one who made the games fun and full of laughter. This is the commentator, Lyndon Thompson. The Outstanding Team Player Awards go to Jadine Foster, West Cross United. From the cold storage team, Javon Walker. From select strikers team, Ornado McFarlane, representing Sampar's Old Harbor. Romario Hillman, representing Sampar's FC. Damian Kettle, container strikers. Shamal Walton. And last but not least in this very new award category, representing Woodcats International, Michael Isaac. Now we'd like to present awards to the second place winners in the knockout competition. Sampar's FC have invited Lacey Bogle, manager, to collect on behalf of the team. And the winners of the knockout competition, Woodcats International, we invite Melissa McFarlane, manager, and Ryan Collins, captain, and this is Midos Hutton, goalkeeper, to collect the award on the team's behalf. Put your hands together, make them feel welcome. These are the winners of the knockout competition. So for 2018, you had a third place position for the team as the number of teams increased from five to nine. There was a tie for third place. Sampar's FC, we invite Lenico Griffiths, team captain and goalkeeper, to collect medals on behalf of the team. That's Sampar's FC. And they tied with the leg strikers, and I invite Delroy McFarlane, team captain and goalkeeper, to collect on behalf of his team, the leg strikers. Container strikers. I invite Jamar Barnes, team captain, and Shamal Walton to collect on behalf of the team. This is the second place. And the 2018 winners of the Derrimont Intercompany League is, is Woodcats International. We invite Ryan Collins, team captain, Melisha McFarlane, manager, and Midas Hutton, goalkeeper, to collect trophies on behalf of the team. Please put your hands together as we congratulate all the awardees in the football category. We are going straight into the Long Service Awards. I'm going to invite Winston Thomas, director, to kindly present to the categories 10 years to 13 years. Please make him welcome.
congratulations. Thank you so very much. Thank you. We're moving into the 16, 17, 19, 20 category. I would like to invite Alexander Williams to kindly assist with these presentations. Okay, we have some other long service awards that are not on the program. And I decided to give these awards because um, these people are serving long. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, they are long service awards. So, the first award is to Mr. Alexander Williams. 10 years on the board. Actually, he's 11. <laughs> Mr. Ian Kelly, Mr. Winston Thomas, congratulations. The fourth director who would have been receiving a special award for long service this evening would have been Earl Richards, but he was not able to make it. Thank you so very much, Mr. Cottrell, and congratulations to the members, to the directors. So now we are moving into Employees of the Year. Outstanding Employee Service Award in appreciation for your dedication and devotion to the principles and ideals of our company. Presented to Siobhan Williston, Jodian Howard, to Waldell Welsh, Patrice White, Abbey Daniels, Donet Carter, Junior Williams, Andrea Clare, to Errol Gale, Curtis Wilson, Jamar Burnett, Sharon Brown, Moya Gay Heard. Thank you, but Mr. Dehaney, please don't go anywhere. I'd like to invite some employees of your location, your branch. Mr. Carlos Duane. On behalf of all of us from West Street downtown, we just want to give you this little token of appreciation for all you've done for us over the years. We love you and cherish you so much. That's awesome. Congratulations. Very nice gesture on behalf of West Street. I'd like to re-invite Mr. Cottrell to the stage for a very special award. Uh, behind the scenes, we have people who are supporting the businesses, people in IT, people in finance, people in credit, people in inventory, people in HR. Have I included all the departments? IT and security, of course. Let me first of all take the opportunity to acknowledge the managers of these departments who have done a um, fantastic job, Mr. Rocky Allen from security. Well, Rocky is the kind of person that they, um, we call on Rocky 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and he never says no. Um, Mr. Tima Thompson and Miss Verona Howell, who heads our finance department. Thank you, guys. They, they are the one who runs finance and they. Particularly this time of the year, they have a very tight schedule to produce the accounts to meet the deadline of the stock exchange, plus manage everything in terms of finance for the business. Um, we have also IT Germain here. Yes. Germain has the entire team. I want to, 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 not to big up all of you guys. Carl, Carl from Credit. It was a fantastic job. Is she here? Yes, please stand, Carol. Miss... She's standing? Well, stand on the table, Carol, because we can't see you. And of course, we have um, from the inventory team, Mr. Batik. Sean Batik. 
along with Donna Smith, another manager in that department, and they basically ensure that um, the inventory that we purchase is sold and doesn't go anywhere else. <laughs> also, very close to me is, and working behind the scenes all the time, is Ms. Sherry Gordon, who is the office manager. Yes. And obviously crazy. But um, we love her anyhow. <laughs> Having acknowledged all the managers, which is very important, because you're not eligible for awards. <laughs> um, also not eligible for awards are the supervisors who are very hard working. We want to thank you for the wonderful service that you put in for 2018. And probably next year we'll probably put in some kind of category award for you guys. But we do have it now, so we just want to tell you thanks. And now to the task that I have at hand, which is to present the Employee of the Year for Support Services. And this is a very hard-working young lady who doesn't know the word no, doesn't know the word no, and she, she quietly works assiduously. And she's also at all of our, uh, basically all of our functions. I hope she's here tonight, because this would just um, <laughs> She, she goes to, we have, we have a lot of, we, we pass with a lot of 5Ks, and she's at all the 5Ks, which are son. And she actually carries the son in her hand, carries him in her hand, and she runs. Amazing, you know what I mean? So the employee of the year for support services, Linda Douglas. Therefore, the last, the very last award for this evening is Manager of the Year. The award goes to, in appreciation for dedication and devotion to the principles of the company, the award goes to, who? Who? The Manager of the Year Award goes to Marvin Dixon! This award really goes out to Marvin Dixon for the tremendous work that she has done in adverse conditions. If anybody has been to Marcus Garvey Drive, especially in the Three Miles era in recent days, we we'll realize that it's not an easy, well, we don't have no road. There's no road. And for her to have delivered the kind of results that she did within adverse conditions, we really applaud her. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and give a round of applause to Margaret Dixon. Now under normal circumstances, she would probably, you know, say thank you, but she's actually hoarse. So we certainly hope that your voice will come back. But we hope that this will make up for all of that. Congratulations. She looked like she wanted to cry. So we came, we ate, we gave out football awards, long service awards, employee awards, manager awards, and of course support team awards and special awards for the directors. But the person who is really here to give the vote of thanks is Sheldon Simpson, correct? Distribution Divisional Manager, please make him welcome. All right, first and foremost, let me thank the beautiful Terry Carroll for being such a wonderful MC tonight. Never, never disappoint. Um, monumental Partners, Chris and Khalil, where are you guys at? Big up. Chris and Khalil from Monumental Partners are responsible for this fantastic decor, you see, and everything. These guys are kings of event planning. To the entire Pegasus team, we thank you for hosting us tonight. Your warm hospitality, scrumptious meal. I know Michael is okay, so that means the food pass. So thank you so much. Um, to our business partners, both locally and internationally, who took time out of their busy schedule to be with us today. Nestle, NV Consolidated, NV Narvin, 
VSH Foods and Resource International. Thank you for your support over the years. We couldn't have made it to 20 years without you guys. And last but not least, the directors, management team, and the staff as a whole um, who make everything possible behind the scenes. Uh, it's been 20 years, ups and downs, but we have prevailed. We look forward to making it for the next 20 more years. So now I want to invite everybody to let the hair down, dance, and have a hell of a night. Thank you. Them look real that day, them not be the night, them not be the day. But, but the 